I mean, I'm gonna just keep shining. So I'm gonna just keep doing my own thing. Cause what else can I do but be me? Hey guys, so this is going to be a get ready with me, a chit chatty get ready with me. So I already have my eyebrows on, I have my moisturizer on, and one eye halfway done. So I just wanted to do like a pink sparkly kind of look. So yeah, I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Of course, as always, I am going in with my Anastasia World Traveler palette, and I'm also going to be using um, this Peachy Queen palette right here, and it looks like that. So the top row are all mattes, and then the bottom row is all pressed glitters, but I'm not going to be using the glitters today, but I'm just showing you guys. I'm going to do my best to put everything in the description bar. I'm not going to be explaining too much of what I'm using. I'm just going to be doing it. And I'm going to be talking to you guys today um, about a little thing that's going on on YouTube. At first I was like, you know what, I'm not going to say anything. It's whatever. But why not just do a little chit chatty get ready with me? Why don't we? So, the other day, specifically Tuesday night, I got this email, right, from YouTube. Now, at first, I thought it was like some kind of scam. It was like super late at night, so I'm like, why would YouTube be sending emails right now? But YouTube is California-based. It was late. I want to say it was like probably eight something in, you, in, in California. So when I got the email on the East Coast, it was like 11 something. So at first I looked at the email, like I said, and I thought it was like a scam. But honey, I do not believe that it was a scam <laughs> after further investigation. So let me just read to you guys what the email says in case you guys are clueless and don't know what I'm talking about. So like I said, on Tuesday night, I received the email from YouTube and it basically says today we are announcing changes to the YouTube partner program while our goal remains to keep YouTube partner program open to as many channels as possible we recognize we need more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem okay so side note I'm just gonna interject anybody can start a YouTube anywhere um, you can submit paperwork to Google and then you can get your channel monetized if your channel gets enough views and you add and you put ads on your videos you can make money from YouTube it's not a lot of money but you still have the option to be a creator and get paid from your content now I have been a YouTube partner for a few years now, but I don't make videos that frequently. So to be quite honest, I really don't get that much money from YouTube. And to be even more candid with you guys, honestly, I've only been paid from YouTube twice. So I do videos because it's just something that I like to do. I feel good about my creations. And I just think it's just something fun and I just like to share information with you guys and that's pretty much why I do YouTube I've been watching YouTube since 2010 like I said I've just slowly but surely have been growing my channel and trying to give you guys better content like I said I only got paid twice so I'm basically doing this because it's something that I truly enjoy to do that's just from me to you okay so anyway further along in the email it says under the new eligibility requirements announced today my youtube channel is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers so if you guys can 
tell, I'm sure you can look below and see, I don't have 1,000 subscribers, which is cool, it's okay. Like I said, slowly but surely, I am building my channel up. So I know that I'll get to 1,000 subscribers soon. I'm not really in a rush. But I also do not have 4,000 hours of watch time. And I don't believe I'm gonna have 4,000 hours of watch time within the next 30 days. Basically, that email is like, letting us know if you don't have these requirements within the next 30 days then we can't I'm not going to be able to get paid from YouTube anymore but like I said I've only been paid twice but I do look at this like I said as a hobby and I do enjoy it but even though this new thing is in place it still worried me a little bit at first I'm not gonna lie when I read the email I honestly I was like why are they trying to take me down like what is going on like why are they doing this like this is not fair to me i'm a small channel i'm never going to i'm never going to you know get to where i want to be if they're making it so hard for me right now like this is not cool at all that was my first initial reaction and then i thought about it and i'm like wait a minute i just i just got lights you know new lights from my husband so that I can make my content better so that I can get more subscribers and share my gifts with all of you guys so initially that was my thought process but then <laughs> thinking more I was like oh my god I just got this stuff to you know make my channel better and what is it all for and then I thought about it like what do I mean what is it all for it's for me this is a hobby that I like to do so even though this new program is in place and it did frustrate me I'm still gonna be making content for you guys and even if I don't even get the threshold within the 30 days like I said I don't believe I will but anything is possible I still am gonna make videos like it doesn't matter to me because this is like genuinely a hobby for me and it's it's pretty cool to know that I am in one part of the world and I could share things with people who are anywhere in the world like how cool is that whether I get paid or not like that's still like an amazing thing and then after thinking that you know with me being upset at first and after me realizing like what am I getting upset for you only been paid twice by YouTube and you're not losing anything what are you upset for so that sunk in and then you know I tweeted like really YouTube like this is what you guys are doing and then I looked further into YouTube's Twitter account and then I read their little pen tweet that they put I guess because they obviously know they're about to get attacked by everybody so their tweet the day after they sent that email out their tweet which is still up on Twitter right now it's um, from YouTube creators. It says, we've made YouTube, we've made updates to the YouTube partnership program to strengthen our community and prevent impersonators and spammers from harming our platform. We understand this affects many channels, but believe it's necessary to protect our creators. And then you can go read further um, information down below. But after I read that, it like really sunk into me. Like, I've been thinking lately, like, YouTube has definitely changed a lot. A lot. Like, back in the day, all the beauty gurus, it was just, like, so fun, so new, so exciting. You could tell, like, people weren't making money back then. They were just honestly doing it the same reason why I'm doing it, because they're passionate. They didn't see faces like them. They wanted to share their gifts. All kinds of cool stuff like you could tell people was genuinely just enjoying you know creating things 
and I honestly feel like it's not like that anymore. There's so many like drama channels and so many people doing the same exact stuff on YouTube, including myself. But um, there's a lot of people getting money from bashing people. There's a lot of like gossip channels and you know clickbait videos and all kinds of stuff like that. It's kind of taking the fun out of YouTube and I believe with this new change it will definitely crack down on those channels so after reading that that tweet I kind of understood it a little bit better so I'm not even mad I ain't tripping off it at first I was but honestly I'm not I'm gonna keep on making YouTube videos I'm gonna keep on editing and doing doing what I do here I get it I understand so I'm kind of doing like a semi-cut crease. Like, I don't want to be doing too much, but I kind of do want to be doing too much. I don't know. I'm just darkening my crease right here, so. Anyway, enough about that YouTube crap. What y'all been up to? Like, what y'all doing? I feel like January has gone by so fast. Like, I really hope 2018 doesn't go by, like, really fast, like. 2017 did I saw this thing on I saw this little thing on Instagram the other day and it said like January is my trial month for 2018 and 2018 really starts February 1st like this is just a trial month that's kind of how I feel like I didn't really make any New Year's resolutions but I tried to make some sort of some, some sort of goals and they were pretty simple and one of the goals was waking up at six o'clock in the morning that did not happen I do not get up at six o'clock but I'm gonna try for February of course eating better was on my list as well that's not going so great either but that's okay it's hard putting on eyelashes when you can't see that good. Like, I know for a fact that I need some glasses. I know it, but I just haven't been to the eye doctor. It is a struggle. But I can't stop, won't stop. I like these little lashes. These are so cute. This foundation is so pretty so I like to go in with another pump after I apply the first layer of foundation and go over my little spots that I have on my face that I want extra coverage on so I don't do two full layers I kind of do like a full layer and then like you just go over my dark spots very quickly blend don't forget your ears you don't want to look like you have a mask on to set under my eyes I've been I feel like I've been having a lot of issues with like creasing under my eye it's so annoying I don't know if it's the setting powder or is my skin just done with LA Girl Concealer right now. I don't know if it's because I'm too dry under my eye. Like, I can't figure it out. So, instead of me, like I usually do going in with a sponge and the powder, I'm going to use a brush to put the powder on. But I'm going to do my best to make sure I don't have any creasing under my eyes. So... in a way and I'm gonna take this elf brush that I absolutely love it's all raggedy I think it's a concealer brush just take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna like set under my eye so yeah that's gonna sit there for right now then and I'm going in with this burgundy color right here and this color too I'm gonna mix those so first the burgundy color 
not gonna bring it all the way in. But it's dark in my outer corner, so I'm bringing it around under here. And then I'm gonna go in with that lighter, this color. Put that closer. And then, I'm gonna go into my Moscow Mule again. I'm gonna go in with this pink champagne color here. And I'm literally gonna put that in my inner corner. Yes, I did overline my lips just a little bit, just because I felt like it. Why not, right? This is Wet n Wild's Just Peachy, and even though it's called Just Peachy, it's more on the pink side. It's not really that peach. Now that I have that one, I'm gonna go over that with the Fancy Beauty's Gloss Balm. Then I'm gonna go back in with the lip liner, just a little. that that's set, I'm gonna go in with my Bin Nye Final Seal Spray. This stuff will keep it locked and loaded, baby. Woo! All right, and then again, I'm gonna use my sponge and just tap all around. YouTube, I'm coming. I'm here. I don't even know what I'm wearing today. I gotta get going. Okay. I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you guys want to see from me. I do have a few videos that I am editing and will be uploaded short. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to see, comment below and let me know. I was, you know, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was a little bit upset about this YouTube thing, but I'm gonna keep on shining living my life doing my thing and i'm gonna catch y'all later <laughs> thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one